Welcome everyone to a new yoga therapy class. In this class, we're gonna go through a series of exercises that help with eyesight and any issues related to uh, the eyes. So when you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. And before we start, please like, subscribe, and share this video with other people that might benefit from this kind of content. I really appreciate it. When you're ready, let's start standing. You can also do this little sequence on the floor sitting or on a chair, but better if you're standing. We're gonna start with the feet hip width apart, and we're gonna loosen up the arms. So swing the arms around. Keep your arms nice and soft, nice and loose, and just let the weight of the arms twist your upper body. So we're trying to loosen up the arms, and by doing that, we're gonna loosen up the shoulders, and then we're gonna help loosen up the neck, and loosen up the back of the head, which all relate to the eyesight. I'm trying to turn the head as your arms turn, follow your hands with your gaze. Okay, slow it down. Now we're gonna loosen up the wrists a little bit. Wrist and neck are related. Eyesight, back of the neck are related. So hands together, clasp the hands together, lace the fingers, bring the elbows together, bring the elbows up a little bit and we're just gonna turn. Roll the wrist, keep the elbows together. I'm trying to tense your shoulders, yeah? Keep your shoulders relaxed. Roll the other way around. Good. Now take the hands down, back of the hands together, lace the fingers, bring the hands up. Okay, elbows together, elbows up, and we roll. And roll the other way around. And you might hear a lot of clicking into the wrists, and that's okay, nothing bad with that. If there's pain, that's different, but clicking is fine. You want to loosen up the wrist. You want loose wrists. You want open wrists. The wrists are a reflection of the waist and the neck. Okay, shake it up. Pull the fingers back on one hand and down. Pull the fingers back on the other hand and down. And then back of the hands together, go up and around, lace the fingers, relax your shoulders, twist. If you can't twist all the way, that's fine. Come back, again, twist, breathing out as you twist, breathing in as you come back. Let's go for five, one, two, three, four, and five, come back, unlace the fingers, go the other way around. Squeeze the hands, don't let go of the tight grip as you twist. And back, keep your shoulders relaxed, twist. And back, and let's go for five. One, two, three, four, and five, and back. Shake it out. All right, we're gonna go down, sitting, and we're gonna sit off to the side. So let's open up the waist a little bit, but at the same time, open up the back of the neck. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn around so you can see better, feet together. Now, if that's too tight on the hips for you, you can put a pillow here or a block underneath your bum. And then you're gonna grab the sides of the neck, lace your fingers, squeeze the sides of the neck so your little finger is tucked under the skull plate, 
top of the neck, bottom of the skull. And we're going to drop to the side as we breathe out and pull. Pull the neck as if you're pulling a cork out of a bottle. Come back in to the middle as you breathe in and repeat. Exhale down, pull. And back and down and pull. And two more. Drop and pull. And last one. Drop and pull. And back. Okay, sit off to the other side. And face you this time. Grab the sides of the neck, little fingers tucked under the skull plate, occipital bone, and we drop and we pull, pull the neck. So you should feel the stretch all the way to the sides of the neck, sides of the head, into the waist, into the hip. Come back, breathe in, exhale, drop and pull. And back, drop, and pull. And two more. Drop, and pull. Back, last one. Drop, and pull. And back, good. Lie down on your back. So you might think this has nothing to do with eyesight so far. It's got everything to do with eyesight. So the problem with the eyes that you might experience is the symptom, but the cause is somewhere else. More often than not, it's gonna be in the neck. It's gonna be in the back of the head, too much tension in the back of the head. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. Right, lie down on your back. And you're going to bring your arms down by your sides. Press the palms down, press the shoulders down and press the chin down strongly. And as you exhale, slowly lift the right leg up. Pull the toes back strongly, keep the leg straight. And your main focus is pressing the chin down. So what we want to do here is lengthen the back of the neck. Lower the leg. Don't touch the floor and then lift again, breathe out. Inhale down, exhale up. And down, and two more. Slowly lift the leg, push the chin down, pull the toes back, push the hands and shoulders down. And one more. Lift up, breathe out. And down. And left leg up, breathe out. And down. And lift, breathe out. And down. And three more. Lift the leg up, keep pressing the chin down, keep pressing the hands down. And two more. Lift up. And down. Last one. Lift. And down. All right, we relax the legs. We're going to take the arms out to the sides to loosen up. The shoulders, which is going to affect the neck and the eyesight. So reaching out with the arms and we're going to twist the arms in and out, in, out with one long breath out. 
twist in, twist out, twist in, twist out. Keep breathing out. When you have to breathe in, relax. Take the arms slightly back and repeat. Twist in, out, in, out, in, out. Breathing out, breathing out, twisting hard. Get the maximum range of motion in your twist. And then a little bit further back and twist in and out, in and out, in and out. And when you have to breathe in, relax. Take the arms further back now, all the way back, as far back as you can. Maybe the arms are touching your ears. And we twist in, out, in, out, in, out. Breathing out, breathing out, breathing out. When all the breath is gone, don't breathe in. Keep going, keep going. And relax. Back to our initial position, arms out to the side. We're going to repeat the same sequence. But what you're going to try and do, so the next step to that same sequence is to have the legs together, toes back, and to lift the legs just off the floor as we twist the arms, okay? So if that's too much for you, or if you can only do a little bit and then your core gives up, that's fine. Yeah, try your best and if that's too much on your lower back just go back to the previous version where the legs are relaxed so toes back chin down lengthen the arms away from each other lift the legs up big breath in and exhale twist arms in out in out in out keep the legs just off the ground keep twisting keep breathing out and then relax, big breath in, take the arms slightly back and lift the legs, breathe out, twists, in, out, in, out, in, out, pull the toes back, push the chin down, lengthen the arms away. And when you have to breathe in, drop down, relax, catch your breath, take the arms slightly further back, we got two more. Chin down, toes back, lift the legs, and long breath out, twist in, out, in, out, in, out. Keep pulling the toes back, keep pushing the chin down. Go as long as you can, reaching the arms away. And drop. And take the arms all the way back, as far back as you can. Toes back, chin down, lift the legs, breathe out. Twist, 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 twist. And relax. Woo! Should feel that. So the whole point, relax. Just gonna talk a little bit while you catch your breath. The whole point of lifting the legs is that as we build the core, as we build the low belly, we draw the energy down, so the excess energy that sits higher up into the shoulders, into the chest, into the head, into the neck, we pull that down into the core. So if you have a strong core, all the issues you have in your upper body will slowly dissipate. So keep building your core, and this is a good one. Eh? Not only are we releasing the shoulders by twisting, releasing the tension in the neck and shoulders, but we're bringing tension into the core, bringing strength into the core. Okay, if you need more rest, just pause the video. Otherwise, grab your knees, pull the knees in the chest, and we roll back and forth a few times back and forth and we come up onto our knees or any comfortable sitting position so early on we were pulling the neck by grabbing the sides of the neck and tucking the little fingers just underneath the skull plate just at the top of the neck you'll feel a big bone so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna place your thumbs on that same bone up. So you're trying to go up and under with your thumbs. And you start from the middle, from the spine. 
and then you're going to slowly make your way out towards the ears so pressing up under that bone and trying to find points that stand out and that hurt a little bit more than the rest and maybe everything hurts so that's something you need to work on just holding the points if you find a point or two that really stand out just hold them breathe so keep pressing up with your thumbs up and under the bone not on it but up and under and by doing that what we're doing is releasing the tension in the back of the head which directly relates to the eyes so if the nerves in the back are tight if these points these acupressure points are tight most likely there's going to be tension in the eyes disturbing your eyesight so we can release it in another way, a little bit more strong. Make fist and we knuckle. So Sam, you go up and under. So start with one knuckle. And so if you're using your left hand, you're gonna pound the left side. So same thing, starting from the spine, making your way out towards the ear. And it's gonna be intense, I'm not gonna lie. Like some of the points you're gonna feel that intensity you feel like oh my god I feel like I'm gonna pass out I feel like my head's gonna fall off it's not and you're not gonna pass out it's just that you might have a lot of tension sitting there in those points a lot of tension in the back of the head okay just stop and close your eyes and feel the difference one side compared to the other so normally you feel a lot of warmth a lot of heat going into these points going into the back of the head and going into the back of the neck and you might feel like one eye can see differently than the other maybe not because you don't really have bad eye problem eyesight problem but Let's try the other side. Start from the middle, make your way out. Pounding hard. Don't be gentle. Go, go, go. Up and under. Go up and under. And if you find a point that stands out, that means that point is stuck. That point needs more love, more pounding, more attention. Okay, and let it go, relax, relax the arms, close the eyes, feel, feel the warmth going into the back of your head. All right, open your eyes again. So sitting into any comfortable sitting position, we're going to do some actual exercises with the eyes now. Maybe the whole class you're wondering, what does this have to do with the eyes? We're not doing anything with our eyes. Now we're going to do it. So everything we do is related to the eyes, but this is actually working your eyes and you can do that anytime, anywhere. Ideally not driving, please. So you're going to take a breath in and as you exhale, you're just going to look up. Don't move your head and don't tense your shoulders and trying to look up as high up as you can count to three and then inhale, look forward. And then exhale, look down. Look as far down as you can. Count to three. Breathing out. And then inhale, look forward. Okay, we're going to repeat that again. Exhale, look up. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, look down. Look down, 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 down. Strain the eyes. Inhale, look forward. Now we're going to look right and left. Don't turn your head, but just trying to look as far to the right as you can. Breathing out. Two, three. Inhale, forward. Exhale, look to the left. One, two, three. And back. 
one more on each side exhale look to the right see how far to the right you can maybe you can see a little bit further this time and back and left breathing out turn. and the temptation to turn your head is strong I know but don't turn the head just turn the eyes beautiful look forward already maybe if you're not used to doing something like that you might feel a little bit lightheaded you might feel like oh my god like this is painful on the eyes yeah so you you you're working out your eyes a lot of the times we, we're too used to looking at something right next to us short-sightedness yeah? even when we walk we look in front of us we look on the floor or now everybody's looking at their phones so just looking further out into the distance is a really good practice and looking to the corners of your eyes is also a really good practice you actually release the tension that sits in the eyes in the nerves in the muscles of the eyes okay so we've got two more so we're going to look up into the upper right corner of our eyes so big breath in exhale look up and to the right as far up and right as you can count to three and then inhale look forward and then as you exhale look to the bottom left look as far to the bottom left as you can and inhale middle one more exhale look up to the right don't turn the head don't tense the shoulders inhale middle exhale bottom left and middle you might see stars as well <laughs> so we're all different but there's a lot of things that can happen from you working out your eyes you might feel lightheaded you might feel something moving into the head tension moving it's all good things yeah you're bringing movement into the part of the body that you're not used to move that way all right let's do upper left corner breathing in exhale look up strain the eyes look up inhale look forward exhale look to the bottom right inhale forward exhale upper left inhale look forward exhale bottom right good all right you're gonna close your eyes you're gonna bring your palms so make them like uh, little cups and bring your palms on top of your eyes to cup the eyes just breathe breathe into your hands focus on your hands relax your shoulders the hands are very healing so it says touch is very healing so your own hands can bring a lot of good things if you place them into parts of the body that hurt and that's equally true for the eyes and take them off beautiful we got one more two more exercises little twist every twist is really good for the liver and the liver governs the eyesight so easy twists to finish bring the knees together bring the hands behind squeeze the knees together drop the knees to the right and then turn the head and look to the left and same as what we just did looking into the bottom bottom left corner of your eyes really strain the eyes to see your hand even if you can't see it try your best keep the chest open keep breathing and back and switch drop both knees to the left turn see your right hand keep the chest open strain the eyes
and slowly back. Okay, one more variation of that twist where we straighten one leg. So straighten your right leg, place the left foot without pressing down, just place it gently on your right knee, cupping the knee. And then you're gonna take the left knee across and turn, look at your left hand. And keep taking the knee further down towards the floor, further across. Right foot goes on top, take the right knee across to the left and then turn the head, look at your right hand. and slowly back and come onto your knees if you can't sit on your knees comfortably you can be cross-legged and we got one more little twist where we're going to place our hands on our hips and we're going to turn so try to turn to the right and bring your right shoulder as far back as you can trying to keep the hips down hips grounded turn the head Look behind. And back. And turn to the left. See how far back you can bring your left shoulder. And back. So if one side you can twist further than the other, one side feels a bit stiffer. You're going to repeat that stiff side two more times. Otherwise, you do one more on each side. Okay, so exhale, go to the side, stiff side, or go to the right. Keep breathing out as you're twisting. Inhale back. And same stiff side or switch. Exhale, look behind. And back. Beautiful. So that was our last twist. And then last one, last exercise to release a little bit more tension again. So tension that sits in the arms, in the wrist, in the shoulders, in the neck, all of that can affect the eyesight. So what we do is we sit in any comfortable position, you make fist, and you're gonna punch the air forward, breathing out as you punch. Out, 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 out. Okay, so take a big breath in, and then we're gonna keep exhaling as we're punching. Breathe out, out, out. Keep breathing out, punching, punching, punching. You can see you can exhale more, 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 more. And then big breath in, and let's try again, one more. Long breath out. Keep breathing out with each punch. Breathe out more, breathe out more. You'll see that you can always exhale a little bit more, a little bit more. And then big breath in and relax. Lie down on your back. Give that a few seconds. Let everything settle, relax the arms, relax the legs. And try and notice what's happening in your body, trying to witness, trying to be present.
So all of these exercises are really good to help with eyesight, any eyesight problem. And even if you don't have eyesight problems, you can prevent eyesight problems by working these exercises, by keeping your neck, your shoulders, your wrists nice and loose, um, making sure you don't store tension into the back of the head. So keep practicing these exercises. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you find some benefit to these classes. Please leave a comment if you did. And if you have any questions, like, subscribe, and share this video with other people that might benefit from this kind of content. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye.